What's up booktube? Welcome back. My name is Laura if you're new here and today I'm talking about some books coming out in September. So I don't personally have a whole lot of books coming out this month on my personal TBR but the ones that are coming out sound phenomenal. There's definitely some more that, like I've seen around but I haven't actually added to my TBR so this is like of course by no means an exhaustive list. I really can't wait for like all of these books which, which I know I say literally every month but it's it's still true. <laughs> so let's get started with our first book which is The Sun Bear Trials by Aiden Thomas coming out on September 6th. Aiden Thomas is the author of Cemetery Boys which I just adore. Adored. I loved that book so much. I still haven't read his uh, Peter Pan retelling. Um, I will at some point, I just haven't gone around to it yet. But this book I will be reading hopefully very very soon because it sounds phenomenal and like right up my alley. This one is a magical competition centered around New Mexican mythology and basically every 10 years there is a competition among um, 10 teenagers who are all the children of gods and goddesses and they are all competing for the privilege of being the one to replenish the power of the sun which keeps the evil obsidian gods at bay. And the winner is chosen by the actual sun god which sounds pretty freaking cool to me except this round is different because the sun god chooses two people one of them being the son of the god of bad luck and the other one being our main character who is the transgender son of the goddess birds our main character never in a million years thought that he would be the one to be chosen because he's not some like elite god he's just kind of there chilling like there are definitely people who are better suited to the job but for whatever reason the sun god thinks that he is the right choice or it could be depending on how the trial goes and then these do have to compete in a a series of five mysterious trials and then I guess whichever of the two of them wins ends up being the one to do the whole replenishing the sun god thing. I'm not really sure how it's gonna work but it sounds really cool. It sounds like if you're a fan of, of Percy Jackson you'll probably love this one and like Aiden Thomas's writing style is fantastic. It was very like simplistic in Cemetery Boys but still like really pretty um, and full of life and character and everything. So I can't wait to see how this book goes. I love the magical competition trope. It's like honestly one of my favorite tropes in fantasy and any book I see that has that trope, I'm immediately hyped for it. But especially this one because it's coming from Aiden Thomas and I have like really, really high hopes for it. Next up also on September 6th is Gallows Hill by Darcy Coates. This one is a haunted house story, but this one is set at a really creepy winery that was built on the field where hundreds of convicts were once hanged. And it's the childhood home of our main character who has not been there in over a decade. Decade. Now our main character does not believe in any of the curses that the locals whisper about but then following the very sudden and mysterious deaths of both of her parents on the same night she finds herself back in her childhood home for the first time and starts to think that maybe there is some truth to these whispers. This author has written a couple of books that I really want to read um, this now being one of them once it comes out. I love a good haunted house story like it's probably my favorite kind of horror. I just love how creepy they can be and all the dark shadows and everything that just like, all the possibilities of like the creepy ass things that that could happen in the, in the like really old house. It's just so much fun to me. So I think that, that I'm really going to like this one once I get to it. And that cover is so creepy too. I love it. <laughs> also on September 6th is Monsters Born and Made by Tanvi Burwa, I think was the name. This one is a South Asian inspired fantasy and is another sort of magical competition, but it has to do with sea monsters. So our main character comes from a family that is indentured by the like higher class elites of their society, and her family is forced to battle and capture sea monsters, which are then used in the glory races, which is a like, chariot competition kind of thing using these sea monsters and it is usually a battle to the death so it's very very dangerous but only reserved for the upper class but i believe what happens one of the sea monsters escapes and so they're not able to sell it and then they can't afford the medication for her little sister who has a chronic illness of some kind and so being desperate for money the main character does what nobody else has ever done before and cheats her way into being able to be part of the, of the competition. But she has no training and she's up against people who have spent their entire lives training for this competition. So she is in a whole lot of danger. This one sounds so much fun. Like it's a competition with sea monsters, like hell yeah. It's kind of reminding me of The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater, which is probably my favorite book of hers. Like I love The Raven Cycle, but in terms of like longevity, I think about The Scorpio Races a whole lot more than I do The Raven Cycle. So I think that one's my favorite from her. And this book sounds kind of similar to that, but yeah, I I just I can't wait for this one. I love any kind of like seaside fantasy and like sea monsters are so freaking cool. I love that. So I think this one is going to be really, really cool. And again, beautiful cover, like just stunning. Wow. <laughs> And then the last book for today is The Genesis of Misery by Neon Yang, and this one comes out on September 27th. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how to how to summarize the synopsis for this one, so I'm just going to read off the tagline for it from Goodreads. It says, it's an immersive, electrifying space fantasy full of high-tech space battles and political machinations, starring a queer and diverse array of pilots, princesses, and prophetic heirs. 
Um, that just, that sounds so cool to me. Um, but yeah, like I read the synopsis on Goodreads and I have no idea how to summarize that. Like I kind of have a gist of the plot, but not enough to actually put it into my own words, basically. Um, like no clue how to explain what's happening there. But I love space fantasies. I haven't read too many of them, but like is a genre that I really want to see more of. So I will definitely be reading this book once it comes out. It's just such a fun mashup when authors like kind of go against the grain and combine fantasy and sci-fi. Like it's not done super often, at least from what I've seen. So I, I always get super excited whenever I find a book that that is a space fantasy, like an actual space fantasy. And it's just so much fun. I can't wait for this one. And like, again, cover is like just absolutely incredibly stunning. And I've heard some really good things about this author as well too. I can't think of who it is, but a booktuber that I follow really loves this author. It has like nothing but good things to say about them. So I have very, very high hopes for it. But those are all of the books that are on my, my personal TBR that are coming out in September. If you have any more, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I would love to add some more to my TBR. As per usual, I am literally always looking for more books to add. So let me know which book you're most looking forward to that's being released this month. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.